scope and life of an automatic variable. The scope and life of an automatic variable is illustrated in the following program. Create a new file in code blocks and save it as s9 underscore 02 dot c. Control shift n, control s, s9 underscore 02 dot c. Click save. Now include the header file, hash include, open close angular brackets, stdio dot h, write the main function, int main, open close parenthesis, white as parameter, open close curly brace, return 0, semicolon. Define an auto variable in the main function scope. Auto int i equals to 1 semicolon. Define an inner block. Open close curly braces. Define another inner block. Open close curly braces. Define another and final inner block. Open close curly braces. Now here print i. Print f. Open close parenthesis. Semicolon. Within double quotes, write person D space comma I. Print I from this inner block also. Now we'll see. And also paste here. Press F9 to check the output. Build, build and run. As you can see, the output is 111. This is because all printf statements occur within the outermost block where i has been defined. A block is all statements enclosed within a pair of braces. It means the scope of i is local to the block in which it is defined. The moment the control comes out of the block in which the variable is defined, the variable and its value is permanently lost. To demonstrate this, let's write a program together. Create a new file in code blocks named s9 03.c. File new empty file or press Ctrl Shift N, press Ctrl S, s9 03.c. Click save. Alright, include the header file, hash include, open close angular brackets, stdio.h int main open close parenthesis white as parameter open close curly brace return 0 semicolon define an integer variable i in main function scope and it should be automatic auto int i equals to 1 semicolon create a block open close curly brace define i in this inner scope auto int i equals to 2 semicolon create another block open close curly brace define i again with an inner scope auto int i equals to 3 semicolon print i here print f open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes write person d space comma i print i here control c control v and finally print i here in main function scope now press f9 to run the program as you can see the output of the program is 3 2 1 here the compiler treats the three i's as totally different variables since they are defined in different blocks. Once the control comes out of the inner block, the variable i with value 3 is lost and hence the i in the second printf refers to the i with value 2. Similarly, when the control comes out of the next innermost block, the third printf refers to the i with value 1. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next lecture.